Well, hello there, chums to Sai, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, for you guys, in the view of verse, I'm going to be doing some investigation acating. Heck, yes, I am. Now, the investigation that I'm going to be doing is at trading posts and bases. And do bases have an effect on ship spawns? Anyhow, I'm going to be keying in a code. Now, this is inside Euclid system where I'm going to be doing all of this testing. Now, I'm going to be doing this testing inside of the AGT hub area of space so yeah this is in Euclid it's in Deuter and it's in AGT Lisbeth Guinea you know what I'll put all the links to this actual wiki page where I found this trading post base inside of the video description be sure to go and hit that up if you want to try this test yourself Thank you, so there you go, there's the portal code if you want to try the test yourself as well at home people in the view of us well let's jump on in through the portal so I've arrived at Kated, heck yes, and it's inside of the HET, which is the Alliance of the Galactic Travelers. Awesome! So yeah, it's not my hub, so I tried to keep this as impartial as possible. And the reason I'm doing this is I was set a mission by Eugene Megatron, who said that it was bad form to advise the viewers to build on trading posts. I do not want to give bad advice, so yes, I want to in go into this myth-busting testing on behalf of Eugene Megatron and also the community at large. So let's go and see whether it is a thing and whether it was bad advice and bad form by the old captain, which I really hope it isn't. I really hope this hasn't changed. I mean, I've built quite a lot of trading post bases. Now, I tend to build the trading posts if it's an extreme weather planet, so at least there's somewhere to harbour out of the way of the storm. And yet, I don't normally put down additional landing pads. There's free landing pads here. Now, there was an update a little while ago that Hello Games done, that if you put down any of your own landing pads inside of a system, oh, this is a wealthy system at that so it should have s classes it would make ships just circle circle the trading post endlessly and they wouldn't land but they fixed that long ago so i don't think that's what they're on about when it comes to ship spawns being interrupted they're saying that it affects the s class rate of ship spawns and also stops the exotic ship from spawning being that it's an s class right though so i've just put well there's a manual save already here this isn't my manual save this is somebody else's so each time I do a manual reload, you're going to see the time flash up fairly quickly. Now, my idea is to do half an hour's testing at this base trading post and then go over to a non-base trading post and try the same tests, people. Oh, I've had a new haircut. Look at that. Isn't that freaking, freaking awesome? Heck yes, it is. Still wearing the hat, though. Yeah, still wearing the hat. Heck yes. Okay, so here we go. Let's put a poll on the screen because, yes, I actually asked my community what they think of all of this. I had 719 votes and it does turn out that maybe there's there could be an issue, but most people say no. So that's an oddity, isn't it? Anyway, this base was made by Cody2301. Nice one, Cody. Yes, I've used your base as a test inside. <laughs> yes, you're an unknowing guinea pig inside of this test. Right, so here we go. We've got um, a C class that's just flown in and it's landed on one of the built landing pads. I need to move my ship off of that landing pad. I'll move that in a moment because, yes, it does seem to be that the spawn rate, the first couple of ships land on the actual made landing pad, which is a little unusual. OK, right up. But I have noticed it does take a little bit longer for ships to start flying in so that could be a thing there is a slight delay before they actually see the trading post landing pads and start landing but that's it seems to be infrequent that they seem to sometimes land on these pads first so yeah i've got b classes i've got c classes but in the first wave when i first landed here i got a lot of a classes well that's enough of b so we've just got b's and c's this time not so great and it did take a little while before they chose to land on the trading post landing pads they seem to like the uh, ones that were built pre-built by the actual base builder firstly another b class so we've got a pretty shite round of ships this time people on this base so maybe it could be a slight thing i mean it is a wealthy system wealthy systems do usually spawn in a classes and s classes and a slightly higher volume than normal so, so to see an abundance of c's and b's is a bit cack isn't it so yes yeah, so they could be onto something there could be something in it but yeah you can see here that none of this base though actually in ingresses into any of the actual landing pads of course if you build over landing pads and yes it might cause a freaking horrendous problem so yeah uh, 
I suppose it depends. But to be fair, I haven't had any problems with my trading post and I build my trading post bases similar to this one. Just a place to shelter out from storms if needs be. But there we go. We've got a load of B's and C's this time. So let's do another reload. There you go. 845 still. And lovely. I'll just build this, speed this up until we start getting ships coming in. Oh, look at that. It's got sight rails. That is beautiful. Is that is that red, white and black? Does that match my logo? You know what? I'm going to fly down to that pilot in a second and have a quick better butchers at that ship. Right. We've got a few other ships that are starting to spawn in. You know what? I think I can get to that that pad take a look at that ship and back up here before those other ships start landing so here we go let's go for it dum dum da da dum dum do 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 hello there Corvax dude hello there my friend and let's have a look see let's have a better look at your ship are you my logo colors no it says it's got orange on it it's got orange on it people but that is pretty darn freaking swanky if that orange was white that probably would have been a keeper i might have had that i guess well, let's fly him back up here and let's see what else is going to land in so yeah there is a little bit of a delay i think in the rate of the ship's landing but we'll see when we go to a normal trading post towards the second half of this fit here right oh so that that wasn't too bad though that one that was just there and let's have a look see what else we've got got a lot of bloody shuttles a lot of shuttles yeah and explorers well this is a this is sort of um you know a viking system not a viking corvac system isn't it okay well we've got a classes a lot of a classes coolio nice what have we got over there and that's another a class all right brilliant okay well we're getting a lot of a classes you know what i honestly don't think this is a thing because i actually got my first squid ship at one of these trading post bases and i remember it being on um, reddit you know i've only ever had one freaking squid actually i've had two squid ships but yeah the first squid ship that i ever got i stood at a base that somebody had already made as a trading post and this was eons ago this was God, it must have been when they first introduced the exotic ships. And it was a trade and post base. And I managed to get one at a trade and post base. I've got very vivid memories of it. So we got, oh, we got an A class of that fighter with the actual shields and the side rails. This is pretty nice. So I think this is about the third ship wave spawn now. So yeah, not too bad, my third reload. And look at this the exotic has landed. Not quite on the landing pad. <laughs> It's not very central but yeah slightly off the ground as well hello there little guy yes i'd like to make an offer upon your ship my friend so here we go so this is an s class and it's the exotic and apparently exotics or s classes don't spawn in upon trade in post bases according to the minority that's inside of my actual um, video chats and stuff like that, you know, so you know, well, my comments on my videos. So it's a little bit odd that I've managed to see an exotic. I am on console, PlayStation 5. You can see here that it's definitely the current update because all the textures keep just disappearing whenever shadows hit them. But there we go, people. Uh, I honestly don't think there is an issue, but we do have a mind blowing amount of problems that have hit the verse. So who knows? Maybe this was a thing for a short period of time where ship spawns were affected by bases built at trading posts. I mean, look, I've zoomed out so you can see the actual size of this base at the trading post. And there's all sorts going on here. Some of the things that have been alluded to that could stop ship spawns building too close to landing pads putting in additional landing pads having flags upon bases and all sorts of other stuff look at those texture glitches freaking terrible aren't they I really do hope that hello games managed to fix these sorts of texture wiping issues it really does break immersion i must play havoc if this is in vr mode as well for people sort of visual cortexes right there anyway let's have a little butchers around and let's wait for some more ships to fly in and we'll see if we get to see an s class other than an exotic but that was an A, I believe. Yeah, that's an A class. Lovely job. Awesome. So, yeah, not too bad. Well, here we go. I've done another reload. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got A classes all around and in abundance. I'm being shot at. I'll tell you what, this happens a freaking lot. Whether you've got a base here or not, this happens quite a lot inside of ship hunting now. And all I tend to do, if you've got an actual save beacon down, one of these manual save beacony type things, these things, I mean, this is the base owner's one, but I just do a reload and it gets rid of those. Important announcement time. If you're liking what you're seeing with your eye peepers and here with your ear holes, then perhaps hit a subscribe and you can treat your eye holes and your ear peepers. I got that round the wrong way, didn't I? Every single day, because I, I kind of do content on the daily. I kind of do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's every other day, but it's usually at least three times a week. Yeah, anyway. <laughs>
Important announcement, OFA. Okay, Jams, while well, we've reloaded back in from the manual save, now I sped this footage up because it took quite some time for the ships to spot the trading post bases. For some reason, they only landed on the player built landing pads for a good five minutes. So there we go. And now they're starting to land upon the, the other landing pads. But there we go. We've got a C class again. Not exactly the greatest. But uh, yeah, let's see if they start landing on the actual normal landing pads for the actual trading post. We've got one circling now. Oh, that's rather tasty, isn't it? Oh, it's an A class as well. 2888. Very nice. Almost looks like one of those you know, X wings if it was flying backwards or something. Very nice type of explorer, that one. I do like these type of explorers. They're probably one of my favourite explorers. And look at that. It's red and white and black. It matches my logo colours. It's very nice. Yeah, so if they ever do add ship perks and explorers i might actually come back here for that one because that's rather tasty we've got a c-class shuttle we've got one of these odd sort of shuttles no it's not a shuttle no, that's an explorer no, yes it is an explorer we've got another one of those sort of slightly lopsided explorers not a massive fan of them but apparently they're harder to target in combat so some people are rather partial to them right we've got a couple of b's and c's but we have got a couple of a's but i haven't seen a normal s-class ship the only s-class ship i have seen land here has been the exotic so yeah maybe it is a thing maybe it does affect s class spawn rates but we will be going to a normal trading post later on and having a look see if that makes a difference right so let's make this the last reload inside of this system let's see which landing pads this one wants to land on this time oh i think it's going on to the oh it went on to the player built landing pad oh no look this one's landing straight on the trading post so it doesn't seem to be an issue every single time what we've got here an a class 29 4 and 6 nice awesome so yeah it does seem to be that you can have some extended landing pads here at trading posts now which i thought was a problem in the past and also look at the poll other people were sort of in agreement with that that sometimes having your own built landing pads can throw out these landing pads but at the moment i'm still getting a mixture of a classes b classes and they seem to be landing on either or so you know what i don't think that is much of a problem anymore maybe if you go to town and put in a shed load of freaking landing pads maybe but you know what this seems to be working rather well with just two additional landing pads here and it does balance out this trading post quite nicely so cody i really like what you've done here actually there's three landing pads isn't there yeah so that is very balanced nice one cody anyway let's jump inside of my hauler my little smuggler wagon and we're going to head on up to the station quickly we're going to take a quick look at some of the poll comments once we get to the station and also we're going to take a quick look to see what multi-tool is in this system being quite a wealthy system it has sort of piqued my interest so let's head on over to the actual station when we fly out of the station i will find another trading post heck yes so flying into the actual station i got scanned so it could be that there's going to be a load of freaking sentinels outside right now. So maybe this is going to upset the spawn inside of the station. But look, there's a shed load of comments that was placed inside of my community tab. You know what? I put a link inside of the video description to the community tab. So you can see all of the debate that was ongoing inside of that community space and forum, which was really healthy, decent debate about this sort of maybe said issue. Yes, a massive thank you to Hugene Megatron that put me onto this myth discovering expedition and testing all of this out because I want to be giving good advice. Right, so I did a reload inside the station, but station spawns can take quite a long time to fly in, especially since now it seems to be that we get more freighter encounters, more scans, more pirates, and all sorts of other stuff. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, look at this. This is quite nice. A ray car stabilizer. A-class multi-tool. Very tasty. Yeah, I don't think the ship spawns or ship hunting inside of stations is as fruitful as it used to be. So maybe there's been tweaks again, you know? Anyhow, we had Elite Gamers hit us up, and Elite Gamers as a ship hunter out in the verse and yes he claims to be professional with inside of there heck yes and been doing this since day one and he says since day one it was a habit that they got into so perhaps it was a thing of yesteryear but he said that he's going to re reach out to cash Karun 
Ed Vintage. Sorry, I don't. I'm, I think I've come across Ed Vintage. The name rings a bell, but I'm not 100 percent sure who he is. Oh, he runs the Quintinian Empire, and hopefully Elite Gamers is going to get back to me with what Ed Vintage has to say upon this issue. Well, yes, Hugh Chain Megatron are rather passionate to say that this is definitely still an ongoing issue. So I've logged in to an actual trading post, and I'm flying down to said trading post. I'm going to land, and we're going to see what the actual ship spawns are like here. Will I see an S class or will I see A's and B's and C's like I've been seeing over at the player built one so let's take a land and have a look see well that was a bit weird okay right well we've landed anyway I'm going to move my um, hauler in a moment because that freaking takes up space doesn't it there we go there we go move my hauler out the way let's get on up onto the roof of here now I am tempted to put down a manual save so I can do some reloads nice and quickly ah I need sodium nitrate and some metal plating not to worry these trading posts usually sell sodium so I can turn that into sodium nitrate and they also sell the metal plating so that's all good but what we've got here we've got some bees we've got another bee yeah okay i've got quite a lot of the same shuttle flown in it's like they've just done a load of freaking oh they've got an a class an a class already that's pretty darn nice but then we did get a classes in the first wave and the player built one as well and remember i did see the actual exotic well i fluffed up there and fell through the Oh, budget. Oh, fudge it. Right, okay, let's go on over to the Galactic Trade Terminal and let's buy some sodium. Let's buy some metal plating. Let's make ourselves a manual save. Brilliant. Lovely job. Yeah, there we go. Let's turn that into sodium nitrate. We put down a little beacon here. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. You're in. Let's do a little save and let's do a reload. So, and yeah, like I say, you can see the timestamps when I do my reloads. Heck yes. Awesome. <laughs> So something I'm noticing already, people, is at this sort of trading post, the ship's flying a lot quicker. They spawn a lot quicker, they land a lot quicker. But you don't get as many landing. Because at the other one, where there was the additional free landing pads, they were utilising them. And I was seeing a lot more ships. So it swings into router pads. Back to the video test. Well, here I am, waiting at a trading post, wishing I was somewhere else. Heck yeah. Anyway, look, it's well worth doing the testing. That's a UP40 song. And it's actually, here I am, waiting at a bus stop. But yeah, I changed the lyrics, because I'm a lyrical chinias. Right, okay, let's see what we've got flying in now. We've got a couple of Bs there, lovely. Cool, okay, brilliant. Hopefully we're going to get to see some more A-classes flying, or an elusive S. Yes, they still seem to be like rocking horse turns, these freaking ass class ships even in this wealthy system so again i don't know whether hello games have tweaked the actual spawn rates and but well, we might get people say actually if you build at any trading post in a system it upsets spawn rates but you know what i don't think it is i just think this is just a random lottery of freaking stuff i'm really hoping that the station overrides do letters affect the ship paths for landing of ships so you can actually call in the ship that you want in the class that you want by using the station override i think that'd make a lot of sense because this random Random reloading and hoping and random number generation. To me, this isn't game. This isn't fun. I'm not having any fun doing this. This is this is freaking tedium upon tedium. Uh, sorry if this is what you love doing in the in the hunt for ships. But you know what? There's no skill involved in it. It's just complete freaking luck, isn't it? Well, at least that's how I feel about ship hunting right now. So if they do, let us use a station override to call in the ship that we want from the actual seed pool at the actual class if we want. I'd be all for that. Heck yes, I would. Because, yeah, I've been doing this not all for that long, to be fair. I think I've spent probably an hour total doing this. So half an hour at each. And you know what? It's not for me. Okay, well, here we go. We're back again. Back again with the front gate master, D4 Jamada, Captain Steve. Heck yeah! Yeah, that didn't freaking rhyme at the end, but who cares? Right, okay, let's have a little butchers around. And uh, here they come. So yeah, it does seem to be that the ships fly in and land a bit quicker when there isn't a base. I think having a base sort of makes the machine go, hold on, what the fudge is happening here? But you see how many ships are circling right now? Only a small portion of those ships will land. Whereas at the actual base when there was an additional free landing pads, they all landed. 
there wasn't a single time that one of the ships that was circling flew off and I was like oh damn I wish that one would have landed that's the one I liked yes that didn't happen so swings and roundabouts like I was saying earlier people okay well oh fudge and hack we've got an S we've got an S class okay well we did have the S class exotic land inside of the player base so there was still an S class potentially but you know we've had one S class land here and I think this is the third respawn now so hopefully we'll do another reload and hopefully we might see another S that'd be lovely wouldn't it but there we go we've got an S class so you know what I think the jury's out slightly on this one for me people is there an issue is there not an issue maybe if I spent a little bit longer rather than just half an hour at a time maybe I might have seen another S at the actual player base because like I said I I've done ship hunting myself for ships people and it's usually finds from the interstellar index or or um, you know the other place the coordinate exchange yeah so I'm often looking these up so from time to time people I share portal codes for ships and sometimes when I share those portal codes out and I've gone through the actual portal there's a base and guess where the base is built at a trading post and I've stood at the trading post and I've seen the ships fly in with inside of S class in previous iterations and previous updates but with hello games shuffling things about who knows there could have been a problem at some point okay right well these ships have all loaded in now so we've got some c classes we've got um, another c class c class and a b okay so that was a pretty shite round of ships let's do another reload it's now 917 so yeah have i given poor advice to the viewer verse i don't think i actually have I feel that the results that we've had at either or trading post, whether it's got a base or not got a base, have been rather fruitful. I mean, at the base, I saw the exotic, which was an S-Class. Here, I've seen one S-Class so far, which was that side round fighter that I really am quite partial to. But yeah, I don't think there is actually any sort of issue with the spawn rate. As long as you don't go and build over the bloody landing pads or encompass the whole thing in a freaking cube. As long as the landing pads are clear and visible and not littered with junk, I'm fairly sure you're safe to build at a trading post. So there we go. It's now 920. So I'm going to be closing up on this. You know what? Let's just do one more load and see what we get here, people, at this trading post. Because I think I did five at the other one. And I think this is the fifth one now that we're doing here. But I don't think this has affected things at all but i want to say a massive great big thank you to every single person that took part in the poll and placed comments inside of the community area if you still want to place comments you still can but that poll has kind of run its course now i think so yeah if you want to get involved in the debate and leave your thoughts and feelings or just leave them in the comment section of this video so if you can actually pinpoint when there was a problem which update and when it got fixed that'd be fantastic and i'm still waiting for a reply from elite games from cash coon or ed vintage to see what their sort of take on stuff is but yeah we've got another round of shite ships here so there we go people i don't think i've given poor advice to the viewer verse i think you're fairly safe to go and build on top of natural trading posts as long as you don't go freaking silly with it you know <laughs> this sort of thing is fine yeah, I've built underneath as well, and that doesn't seem to cause any issues. So I usually have geo bays on things and roamers, um, but just don't make it so they spawn through the landing pad. And I think you're probably going to be fairly safe. So there we go, people. I think I've done enough testing on this. So until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. I'm just going to go and hit on up this save point one more time so you can see exactly how much time was spent on this. So yeah, I started at about 8.40, finished at 9.20. So it, there we go. I think that was a fair, a fair test. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.